Of those 2,200 hospitalizations, the state health department says 98 of them are pediatric patients. And one of those 98 children is a one-year-old boy from Oklahoma City. Right. He was first diagnosed with COVID nearly two weeks ago after a health scare led to a trip to the emergency room. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale spoke with his family today about the challenges he's now facing because of the COVID virus. One-year-old Ira Jackson was struck with COVID and has been here at the Children's Hospital ICU for almost two weeks. His family hopes that sharing his story will serve as a powerful warning for everyone to take the virus seriously. It's unreal. It's a nightmare. Um, you, you just can't believe it. Sandra Jackson's family's nightmare has lasted almost two weeks as her one-year-old nephew Ira is fighting for his life. His sickness began as a high fever. He was given Tylenol for that time being and it was not better. He was non-responsive, just kind of in a glare and a daze. So the Jacksons rushed Ira to the hospital. Doctors soon discovered he had COVID-19 and had suffered multiple strokes. COVID-19 leads to um, uh, hyperinflammation, um, which can cause um, inflammation even with, within the vessels which can lead to strokes and clotting. We absolutely do see it in, in pediatric patients. A surgery to relieve the pressure on Ira's brain was successful, but his family says he still has a long road ahead of him. He can't raise his hands or he moves his legs a little bit. He did swallow, but um, there's no movement with him moving his head around or him talking. He did say mom, but um, nothing else. The Jacksons hope by sharing their story, people will take the virus seriously for people of all ages, including those like Ira who can't get vaccinated yet. At first I thought he would be okay because he was a child and they're resilient, but that wasn't the case. You just never know whether you're healthy, old, young, it's there. In Northeast Oklahoma City, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Oh, bless his heart. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help pay for Ira's medical expenses. The link, if you're interested, is on KFOR.com.